Hi, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at the Milwaukee M18 six pack charger. Now, purchased this on eBay uh, for parts are not working. Um, it's got written on the back of there, dead. So, I think the first thing that we'll do is we'll just check the uh, we'll check the fuse in the plug just to uh, just to rule that out. Actually, it looks like it's. Uh, Looks like you can get the fuse on the side here. Right, I've got a 3 amp fuse there. <coughs> Let's check the. Uh, check the fuse. Well, the fuse is alright. Right. So. We shall pop it, apply some, we shall apply some power to it and see what it does. Maybe something rattling around in there. Right, okay. I have a battery which is about three bars charged. Alright, okay, well. There's a light little on the charger. So I don't know if that's actually charging or not. I wouldn't have said it was dead. Does the light come on when it's unplugged? I'm not sure if that's actually charging. In which case, I wouldn't really said it was dead. Um, <laughs> hmm. The one time you buy something off eBay, expecting it not to work, and it actually might actually work. Actually, yeah. There's, well, there's four lights lit up on the battery there now. So I'm not sure if this is actually working or not. Um. Nice. I wonder if it's a problem with one of the other ports, maybe. Well, like I said, on the back it just says dead, so I would assume that means no power. It did sound like there was something rattling around inside of it, uh, so possibly if we just take it apart and do maybe a sort of tear down video on it, then if it appears to be working. I mean, you know, there possibly may be a, a dry joint in there or something that's causing it to be dead intermittently, or. Perhaps they just had it plugged into a, a Duff extension lead or something, I mean, I don't know. But it definitely seems to be charging at the moment. Um, there you are. I wonder. I don't know if I can just check the voltage on the battery, then plug it in for a few seconds. Right, 19.78. I'll just plug that in for a moment and just see if it goes up any. It's still 19.78. But perhaps we didn't give it long enough to charge. Uh, we've got some other batteries here. There's one with two bars, let's see what that one does. Let's see it's charging. This actually just seems to be working. Slightly disappointing when you buy something like you say that's supposed to be broken and it actually seems to be working. But anyway, um, 
Yeah, and it's gone up from two to three bars there. So, right, I think what we'll do is we'll unplug it. We'll uh, we'll open it up anyway, see what was rattling around inside of it, and we'll just check the circuit board over. But uh, yeah, I was hoping it was going to be dead because then uh, we could have repaired it. But all right, we'll start by taking the uh, bottom off. I'm just checking in case I missed any screws. Yeah, too. There's actually more of it than what I was expecting. So there's your display at the top. I guess this board switches to the different outputs and I guess that's the main charge and the main charger PCB here Right, yeah, so this is the main PSU of the unit. Yeah, and the other, the other sort of charging ports go to this backboard here. Because this is a sequential charger, so it'll actually charge each battery one at a time. And then once it's finished charging the first battery, it'll skip to the second, then the third, then the fourth, fifth, and then sixth. So it doesn't actually charge the batteries all at the same time. Alright, let's see if we can get this other board out. Just to have a look at that. We'll, we'll just have a quick look over this board, see if we can see anything obvious. Any dry joints or anything. It's got a bit of a plastic uh, filament up there. Like I said, I can't see anything. Nothing really stands out here. I don't know what was rattling around inside. Not in this half. Yeah. We'll undo this half and have a look here. Uh, have a look at that. So I would have thought if the unit was dead, as it was described, I think the, the fault would have been on this section, not the uh, actual switching. I hit you here, holding these cables. See if I can free those off a little bit. Yeah, 
Right, so the um, the other wires are actually screwed to the connector here, and there's a small switch which I believe is for skipping to the next battery. So if it's charging that battery and you want it to charge that one instead, you can hit the skip button and it'll skip round to the uh, to the next battery. Uh, more to it here. Uh, it's maybe a bit hard to get it in shot. But... So it looks like we've got a, a microcontroller here and six MOSFETs. So I would assume the microcontroller and these transistors here switch the well, the MOSFETs would switch the main power from the, uh, the power supply to each battery and all these transistors and diodes and things around here will be for switching the signals because there's each battery communicates its uh, temperature and its you know current voltage things like that to the um, little microcontroller here and that obviously would then indicate whether the battery's fully charged or discharged or, or the current state of the battery or whether the battery has got a fault and if the battery's okay I guess it would then switch switch the power to the appropriate connector. Just had a quick look around the board with a, a little little magnifying lens here just to uh, double check for dry joints or anything but I can't actually see any problems. I'll reassemble this side and I'll have a quick look at the other side just to see if I can see any problems on there and then uh, I think it's just a matter of reassembling after that. Right, so I'll just have a quick look over this circuit board, just with a, uh, I mean I could do it with a microscope, so you can, uh, you can have a look as well. So I think if there is any problems with this with no power, it will be on this circuit board in any way. Now one thing I have just noticed, this looks, it looks like there's uh, fresh solder being put on this area here. So I guess that must be the main switching device for the switch mode power supply. But also on this chip I've just noticed possibly a couple of dry joints on the legs so I may add a bit more fresh solder to these uh, legs on this chip here just in case. I'll just see if I can zoom in with the microscope on these uh, pins. It's actually a little bit tricky to try and find them. Uh, let me tell if I just point first with a, a screwdriver and then I'll try and find my screwdriver. Right. Yeah, so it looks like this fresh flux and solar being applied to this area here because if you compare let's say that joint to these ones let's say somebody's um, had a go at this previously now on this top chip here I don't know if you can really see from, but looking from the side, it looks like this end pin. Looks like the end pin here isn't soldered very good. So I think I'll just reflow across these pins here. So I'll put a bit of flux on. Nice. 
Let's redo this one on this corner here. It could just be sort of some kind of intermittent fault. I think I'll do the other side of that chip as well. So let's put a bit of flux on this side. I'll add a bit a bit of fresh salt at the iron. See what that corner is like. Let's better check that's uh, not bridged. I'll just put a bit solar there, it's a bit hard to see. So we put a bit of uh, flux on there. Right, we'll clean that up with a bit, uh, a bit IP and a toothbrush. I think I'll just go over some of these other joints on the main transformer just quickly with uh, with the iron and a bit of flux a bit of fresh solder just to, just for belt and braces I don't really think there's any problems on any of these but while we're in here it will not harm So a bit preventative maintenance. Okay. Yeah, so that looks like the device that's been replaced at some point. That looks like the main switching 
I see. I've run in line fuse here. A couple of opto isolators. Probably a little feedback transformer. At least they've actually got. Um, at least they've actually got all these connections labelled here. Battery plus, battery minus, sorry, plus five. LVS, current S, latch, and C three hundred underscore one. Which I'm not sure what that means. Nice. Let's see if it still works. Or if we managed to blow it up. Right, well, wasn't quite a repair video, but I think they it was more of a, a maintenance and teardown video. But there we have it, a Milwaukee six-pack M18 charger. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing. And as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.